hello everyone. Good evening. Today's message is they want your glory without your story. Okay, and this is not to put anything in us because um, the main reason the Lord has given us our um, calling and what people may call glory would be because instead of putting the glory into us, we always point it to the Father. These other people, they, they want that glory for them. Okay, that's how true it is. <laughs> they, they want the glory for them. They're not going to uh, point it towards the Father and let everyone know that that is exactly why they are the way they are today okay they they don't want the lord to be recognized for it because they want praise from men and the lord wants the praise because he deserves the praise because he is the one who gave it to us <laughs> okay he could have left us where we was at but he didn't so that's one thing <laughs> and another thing is um people didn't recognize you before the Lord blessed you okay before he put that calling over your life people didn't like bat an eye towards you but once the Lord blessed you now all eyes are on you and they're wondering where you came from how you woke up one day and was just anointed and appointed but they don't realize that there was a whole backstory of of struggle and climbing up and digging deep and <laughs> praying to the Lord and asking for his strength to get through these spiritual warfare attacks that we have been going through and we still go through every day to get to the point to where we're at. There was a lot that had to happen for us to be here, but a lot of people want the glory without the story. They don't want to have to go through what you went through, okay? They want to just have it already, but they weren't called for that. They may be called for something else, and that is perfectly fine it's perfectly fine to be walking in in the calling that god had over your life because you are going to be efficient in the calling that god put in your life you're only going to be efficient efficient in what the lord said that you would be if you try to put yourself in someone else's shoes or you try to act like someone you're not going to be efficient you're not you you can't you can't be unauthentic and think that it's going to to work and 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 prosper it won't prosper it's only going to prosper when you are authentic and when you're walking in your calling that the lord has given to you okay <sighs> i just i felt the lord wanting me to talk about this because i know that um many of us chosen when we go through this where people people just they look at where we're at now and they they don't know where we went through they 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 are like what you went through that yes yes i've been through it but the lord brought me through it that's the only reason why i'm standing here even for for these videos for instance it takes a lot to make the like it takes a lot to make these videos because of the spiritual warfare okay god gives me the gift and gives me the words of wisdom to say, okay? He tells me what to talk about, when to talk about it, and etc. But the the spiritual warfare that goes on, that it gets it gets a little crazy. But I'm thankful because the Lord gave us his Holy Spirit in order to uh, combat against these wicked and demonic attacks. Okay, that is exactly why you went through everything you went through in your life so that you would be prepared for this time in your life right now. Okay, all these spiritual attacks that are coming against your life, you had to be prepared for that. The devil didn't care when you was out here sinning and doing whatever it is that um, you were doing before. He cares now that you're walking in your purpose. He cares now that you are seeking the Lord. That is why he cares. That is why he's attacking you. And he's going to keep attacking you because, honestly, he, <laughs> I'm sorry, Satan is dumb. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times he tries to take us out because that's what he comes to do. Steal, kill, and destroy. Every time he comes, he's coming to steal, kill, and destroy. But every time he tries to do something bad, the Lord takes it and turns it to good. And then he keeps doing it thinking he's going to have a different outcome. And I'm wondering why is he still trying? Why are you still trying? <laughs> you never succeed. Why are you still trying? 
you're never going to succeed because the Lord has the final say. Like, I don't, I don't get it, but I know it's to try to stop us, to try to prevent us from doing it, try to get you to curse God and et cetera, et cetera, but it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> if you are chosen by God, you will never ever do that, okay? Now, be careful out here with these people because they, they, um, some people are, are working in demonic spirits and they're going to try to bring you down and um, try to take your light away from you. They're trying to dim your light or whatever the case may be because they see the light on you. They see the light and they're going to try to, to dim it to make themselves look better, right? Because they weren't called and they don't have this glory and, and blessing over their lives. So they're going to try to make yours dim or, or even burnt out so that they would look better. But they fail to realize you can look good without bringing someone else down. But you can't look good without the Holy Spirit. And <laughs> that's something that just can't be bought in Jesus' name. But I pray you all have a blessed and wonderful day. And I love you all.